Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon M50 Mark II and the Sony A6000. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon M50 Mark II and the Sony A6000 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 14th of October 2020 and the 23rd of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon M50 Mark II. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon M50 Mark II and the Sony A6000. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon M50 Mark II. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6000. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon M50 Mark II. I love this product, it's amazing and really works well for me. I highly recommend it to others. I love this camera. The app for transferring photos is really easy to use. I highly recommend getting a zoom lens for even better shots. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6000. I have been using the Sony A6000 after switching from a Canon DSLR, and I am confident I can replicate my shots with the Sony, if not better. The main reason for my switch was the size of the camera, and I have found several features that I love, such as Wi-Fi connection, face detection, fast focus and inconspicuousness. However, the battery life is not as The Sony A6000 is an incredible camera, with dynamic range better than Canon and comparable to Nikon. It has great color accuracy, quick autofocus, and impressive high ISO performance. The battery life is short, and some settings may require more steps, but the trade-offs are worth it for the amazing image quality and video capabilities. Overall, it's a perfect camera for enthusiasts and professionals alike, and I'm very impressed with its performance. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon M50 Mark II we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Sony A6000. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 